2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. Tonight, it'll be the Chicago Bulls up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Checking out Oklahoma City. They're currently holding on to the best record in the league. Not the conference, the league. They've been head and shoulders above the competition this season. And with a little bit of time here before tip-off, I'll, I'll kick off a topic. Defense, as we know, a key to winning basketball. Kenny, talk about the hallmarks of a great defensive team. Well, first, there has to be an anchor in the back. And if you have an anchor in the back, then all of a sudden, you can start with containing the basketball and denying those open lanes because you know if they try to get to the rim, the anchor is back there. And after that, it's all about getting your hands up and making sure you can test every single shot. And your anchor has to be a great communicator. He has to talk. Help his teammates make those extra plays like, hey, move, slide your feet, Ernie, pass the ball, give back to Kenny. Hey, watch out, he's coming oh, through. Oh, oh, oh. He oh, got me tough, moving. You got Communication's me moving. the big key, Ernie. You see, he he was the anchor, and I started moving. Hands up, moving. Kenny. Oh. Slide down. Yeah, rotate. Oh, yeah, get the three. See? see? Mm. Yeah. As soon as he starts talking, I just went. It just, man. Two great defenders right there. Kevin Harlan, take it away. It's interconference time for these Thunder as they come in as the visiting team. Welcome, everyone, to NBA basketball here on 2K Sports. Tonight, it's Noche Latina, celebration of Latin culture in the league. It's become an annual tradition and a very good one. I'm Kevin Harlan, and here with me today, Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Derrick Rowe is still injured. They're counting the days until he returns. Kevin, this is a big blow to this team. I mean, he's going to miss some of the playoffs and perhaps all of them. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. Taking a look at the Thunder. Durant, the three, and Ibaka, the four. King is up there with Russell Westbrook, and it's Cantor in its center. Freak kicks to Westbrook. Back to King. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And Kevin, who says a point guard should look to pass first? I mean, not when you can finish like this fellow. Well, Clark, he wasn't going to give that opportunity up to a teammate. Well, you know, Kevin, that's one he'll always take himself, and he should. I mean, you can't pass up that kind of opportunity or fun. Now here's King. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Toronto. And he also was a table setter in that game, Kevin. Just an amazing job with his passing. Just a joy to watch that. Here's Gasol after Ennis Canner's basket. Gasol passes to Butler. Miritic the screen. Butler dishes to Gasol. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Terrific screen that time by Turner. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. And King, here we go. Gasol with the rebound. Yeah, but you have to love that tough interior defense. And Greg, that's exactly what he gives you. I mean, he's constantly making his presence felt around the rim. King against Butler. Freak kicks to Durant. Tipped away. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Here's Turner. Shoots from 12. Bounces high off the rim and drops. The shooting percentage is really solid so far, fellas. Good start to this game for him. Outside Westbrook. Back to King. Outside Westbrook. Turner against King. Three on the clock. Westbrook. No luck. And in Chicago the other way. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. 
Yeah, they, they just caught a team, Kevin, that was in a zone. They didn't have the manpower defensively to disrupt them. Hey, zone or no zone, I expected a little more fight out of them than what they showed. I mean, they never strung together any stops like they needed to. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. Now, here's Watson. He averages a bit over six points a game. That's good from Gasol on the assist by Watson. And that's now six points for Paul Gasol. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Fred Hoiberg. What'd you find out, DB? He told me one of the more troubling tasks his team must do is to figure out how to slow down Russell Westbrook. He said that between his explosiveness and ability to change direction, they'll have to have all five guys keeping an eye on Westbrook whenever he's on the perimeter. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. Well, Thunder shooting their first free throws here for the night. And, and all the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Portis, he's checked in for Miritich. Dunley becomes in for Turner. Garrett Temple is checked in for Butler. And it's Livingston in for C.J. Watson. They get a bet, and he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. And the Thunder with some changes. McGarry comes in for Ennis Kanji. And... Chicago. They're on an 11th to 3 run. They've got Livingston. Borders is out there at Viritich. Then it's Turn. And it's Butler in at the two spot. That's the Bulls five as we get into the second quarter. I like it. I like it. He broke. And it's there. King against Turner. King the pass to McGarry. Freight dishes to McGarry. And he drops in the way up off the glass. McGarry's got his first points in this one. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening. It, it really is, Clark. The defenders need to do a better job of closing those lanes to the hoop. Butler up top. He's guarded by King. And it's Butler missing. And, and trying to come up with the highlight reel finish. Somebody forgot to finish it. Wasted no time on that one. It's got to be nice for them to know that game in and game out, his offense is going to be there. Miritich, a screen on West. The kick outside to Butler. And it's good assisting on the play with Livingston. And the Bulls lead by three. Pretty, pretty passing. Timely recognition as to where the open man was. To the right side. And Ibaka kicks to McGarry. And down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. And that's how it's done. I mean, find that hole in the deep and then go hard to the right. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. Well, it was. I mean, a tight game like this one, you'd think they'd have a little more energy at the defensive end than that. And there's the foul. It'll go on Nikola Miritich. That is his first foul of the game. And, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Watson, he's checked in for Sean Livingston. They grab their own miss. Major defensive lap right there. And he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Watson for three. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Abaka sets the pick for Westbrook. It's all in by the Bulls. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Watson kicks to Meritage. The tie for the ball. And that'll be open on the city's ball as it goes out of bounds. And now we have a chance to check out Freak here. He's been on a tear since the All-Star break going really to another level. 
fifth in scoring, fifth in field goal percentage, and tremendous confidence and consistency at the foul line. He ranks among the top 15 in free throw percentage. And as you said, one of the NBA's most potent scores, always up to the challenge. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash-mouth basketball, guys. And all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. Durant, the pass to King. At the elbow, it's Ibaka. Back to King from eight. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Butler against King. Outside Turner. Six on the shot clock. Pulls up on the elbow. And again, Chicago. No good. Looking at the last game for the Oklahoma City Thunder, it was a loss to the Raptors. Yeah, foul trouble early on, I thought, set the tone in that game, and it just made it difficult for them to get over the hump. Yeah, it really got them out of sync, and that hurt them big time. Forced them to go much deeper into their bench than they would have liked to. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Brooks. Doris, over to you. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Raptors got the job done. He had 21 points and rounded out a solid overall game, playing lockdown defense and finding open teammates. This game of his was just a standout, all-around display of basketball. Coaches love to see that, Kevin. Great job, Doris. Thank you, guys. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can stay in a role like that tonight. It, yeah, I mean, sometimes those hot streaks can last for days, and, and, and I'm sure they're, they'll be feeding him the basketball, hoping he's still got that mojo work. Well, they ought to. I mean, when you got a thoroughbred like him, I think you got to ride him for as long as he'll carry. Here's McGarry, and it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Oklahoma City. Shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And that one misses. Chicago making some changes. Al Gasol has checked in for Portis. Dunleavy comes in for Turner. And Garrett Temple subbed in for Jimmy Butler. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Adams, he's checked in for Ibaka. Kyle Singler comes in for Kevin Durant. And we're through the first half of basketball here in what's been a good one. Bulls lead by three. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, Kevin, obviously a very close game. What is... Okay, guys, let's focus and get down to business. Now, here's a few things I took away from the first half. These are the types of halves where we are helping ourselves out by making clean passes. They haven't caused us too many problems in the passing lanes to this point, but we still have a half of basketball to play. On a good note, our passing has been very smooth. You set each other up with some really nice assists. That's strong team basketball. Let's keep it up. And let me touch on tempo for a second. We're not out to use the whole shot clock, but I would like to see us get set up offensively. We know we're up against a tough team tonight. Let's show them we're just as tough. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. And what about Paul Gasol? I mean, he's been sensational. And in terms of points in that first half, you know, he's now at a point where we expect him to perform that way. And, Greg, that tells you all you need to know about what a talent he is. I mean, I'll bet he adds a lot more to his totals after the break. The 
the Bulls leading by three. Taking a look at the Thunder. Inside, you've got Ibaka and Canner. Russell Westbrook out there with King. And it's Durant in at the three. And it's blocked by Ibaka. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. Down low. Gasol kicks to Miritich. Clock at six. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Taking high percentage shots has been this group's specialty. On your screen now are this month's field goal percentage leaders. Fifth, Kevin Durant. It would be hard to imagine him shooting the ball much better than he has. He has been on fire. Thunder trailing by three. Feeds it to Freak. To the middle. Tries from 10. Takes a big high bounce and goes in. And that's now seven points for Ennis Cantor. Watson with it. Westbrook picks him up. They set the pick. Watson dishes to Gasol. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Westbrook passes to Durant. In the corner, Ibaka with it. King inside. He's covered by Watson. Just five on the clock. Freak kicks to Cancer. Puts up the baby hook. That is good. Cancer's got nine points. I really think that's the area they want to work the ball into, and it takes passing like that to get it done. To the paint, here's Butler. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And you know the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Ennis Cantor. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Oklahoma City trailing. Westbrook kicks to free. For the lead. And it's Westbrook, that time on the assist by Freak. Eighth assist here tonight. Up and in on every one of their first three shots to start the second half. Watson dishes to Gasol. He feeds it to Butler. Ball's not loose. Stolen by Durant. And oh, here comes Durant. Oh! oh I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatics. Oh, come on, Clark. He had to go for it, didn't he? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. He's an athlete, and I, I can't fault him for that one, although if he missed it, I might have. Adams, right side. Westbrook kicks to free. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Watson, the pass to Gasol. Out left to the wing. The shot by Butler, nobody around. The three-pointer, no good. Oklahoma City leading by three. And King, here we go. He kicks to Adams. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. That one on turn. All oh, the, the officials are all over that. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. So for the Bulls, Portis, he's checked in for Miritich. Dunley becomes in for Turner. And it's Livingston in for C.J. Watson. And he sinks the second. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Here is Livingston. Here's the screen. The dish to Gasol. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And a moment now to see some numbers for Jimmy Butler. He's around 18 points per game, five rebounds, and four assists. And just look at those scoring totals. He's been doing what he does best, putting points on the board. Absolutely. I mean, he has those real natural scoring instincts. The ability to find creases in the defense, just um, fantastic. Gasol doing all sorts of things. He's got 19 points, and he's knocked down five shots at the charity strike. Good numbers for him. 
They can't guard us on the perimeter. Spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing! And stretching back to the break, here's how the Thunder have performed. First in field goal percentage. First and fewest turnovers per game. And they're number one in a teams to get into a rhythm offensively, and thus they're able to hold those points down. You, you said it all right there. The hottest shooting team in the league. And that tells you not only are they shooting it well, but they're also focused on creating terrific opportunities for one another. A really good rebound in traffic. That's what the big fella's there for. Livingston kicks to Buck. Eight feet away. Near the three-point line, it's Dunleavy. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Dunleavy's got the game tied up here for Chicago. And the goal will be against Sean Livingston. That is his first foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Garrett Temple has checked in for Chicago. The Thunder also changing it up. Mitch McGarry comes in for Serge Ibaka. And it's Payne in for Russell hey, Westbrook. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. You're exactly right. I mean, so often when a team gets that kind of explosive play out of its backcourt, that can really rally and galvanize the whole squad. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten six of their seven shots to go down in this court. What a fantastic start to the half. Adams dishes to Freak. Down low, McGarry. Soft touch off the glass. And now a four-point Thunder lead. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Greg, the play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. And Durant sends it back. Inside. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Durant's got the lead up to six now for the Thunder. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle steps for Oklahoma City? Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. And it steals. I mean, they've knocked the ball loose a number of times and been able to track it down after the fact. Adams, right side. Durant kicks to Freak. Shot clock at six. The 11-footer. It's rebounded by Livingston. Bulls trail by six. To the wing right side. Good looking screen by Gasol. Temple the pass to Gasol. The rebound by McGarry. McGarry's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Durant. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5-for-8 clip. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. There's got to be a wall of defense when it comes to attacking the paint. Plain and simple. Livingston dishes to Gasol. Will it go? Here's Temple. Good on the triple. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. Thunder out in front, leading by five. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Is out there with Turner. Then it's Powell Gasol. Then it's Watson. And it's Butler in at the shooting guard. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Gasol against Adams. And Waiters kicks to Freak. Oklahoma City moving it around. Shots good by Waiters. Waiters got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Thunder. The shot quality is very good here, and they're making most of them this half. Yeah, converting at a really high level. The field goal 
percentage continues to creep up. The defense needs to play tight on him, and that's exactly what they did to force that miss. Well done. Westbrook against Buck. Westbrook passes to King. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Bulls trail by eight. Butler dishes to Watson. Back to Butler. Unloads from 13. That's good, and the assist goes to Watson. Nine points for Jimmy Butler. Boy, this game has really started to heat up. I didn't think it could get any more high scoring than it already was. Well, I tell you what, I don't mind it. You don't either, it sounds like. Good offense is entertaining, and that's exactly what we're getting. And it's freak missing. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Miritich, a screen on Waiters. And it's Turner off the drive. Can't hit from the elbow. Oklahoma City leading by six. King with it. Picked up by Turner. Tries it from 19. And Freak gets it to go on the assist from Dion Waiters. Eight points for Freak. Butler on the way. Miritich the screen. Butler missing again. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one almost always deadly when he's that open. And play stops as it looks like they call it over the back here. You know, right call. Gave the officials no choice there. I mean, they've got to make that call over the back. Yeah, I mean, he went chest first into the man in front of him. My goodness. I'm not an official, and I could have gotten that one right. And the Thunder making a switch here. Singler's checked in. Butler goes in. And it's good. Off through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. And that's just a great individual play right through the teeth of the defense. Free throw no good for Butler. Take a look at what Butler's done. He has 11 points and a block. Free kicks to Ibaka. Back to King. To the paint. It's tipped and stolen by Miritich. Turner. Offensive rebound. The second effort. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Oklahoma City leading by six. The shot's good from Westbrook. And it doesn't really matter who starts the break with how he runs the floor. He seems to always be the one who finishes it. Yeah, he is so fun to watch and how he attacks the rim at full speed like that. It's, uh, it's something to behold the way that guy gets to the rim. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. King, that's good. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for C.J. Watson. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Durant's checked in. Westbrook passes to Adams. Rejected by Gasol. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. McGill is checked in for Oklahoma City. Bulls trail by seven. Outside Turner. Gasol a screen. And Turner kicks to Gasol. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Gasol's got 21 in the game. Outside Durant, the feed now to Freak from 12 feet out. Good on the jump shot. And the Thunder lead by seven. And he has started to turn it on now after that slow start. sideline with Doris Burke. Well, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what the head coach of the Chicago Bulls was going over in his huddle. He gave his guys the green light to keep firing from downtown, telling them, listen, 
I like the work you're doing out there. Keep finding those gaps on the perimeter. They're giving us open shots. And his canners checked in for Oklahoma City. Outside Butler for three. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. 14 points for Butler. Well, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. The Thunder leading by four. Durant dishes to Freak, and the foul called on Freak. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, but in the first half, he was just purely flawless as a ball secure. But that certainly hasn't been the case here in the second half. Gasol. Freak kicks to Ibaka. No good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought that was definitely automatic. It's a nice ball movement here by Chicago. Gasol, no good. Thunder up on 5 of 10, 50% from the field. And Cantor wide open. He shoots. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Here's Turner. Drills it from outside. Turner's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for Chicago. A pretty free look from three-point range. The D forgot about him in that position. Westbrook passes to King. Cantor dishes to Freak. Gets the bucket and the foul. They get Paul Gasol. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. And what a game for Freak. 15 points, and what a game he's had passing the ball, too. I, I love the fact that he plays for his teammates, really spreading the ball around, getting everyone involved. And Turner gets to Gasol. Outside Butler, fires for three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. And King, here we go, and he slams it one-handed. Such a strong finisher for a floor general. He was up high, and he came down hard. Done. <laughs> That's the uncanny ability he has. Find a teammate for an easy basket or get one himself. And that lead pass allowed him to get straight to the rim, unabated, in stride. And that's an intentional foul. He had to foul, and on that occasion, to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And you know what, Greg? Who knows? A few misses at the strike, and they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. Got time. Don't rush up. Get the best look. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. Yeah, defensively, some really good pressure being applied, though, so you've got to give credit there. Um, it seems like they've been rattled a little bit. Great, yeah. you think they've been rattled? Well, they have, Kevin, but that's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. It's the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And the Thunder making a switch here. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. Turner passes to Gasol. Dishes to Miritic. And it's off from three-point range. King. Missed. So it's... it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end, but the crowd amped up, right, everyone now. in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris?
in this game a tight one and perhaps a little bit more closely contested than people expected. Was this the sort of game that you were anticipating? Well, everybody's going to bring their best against us. And uh, just try to come out here and play harder in possession. Uh, we had some mishaps and slip-ups, but I think did a good job of bouncing back. Kevin, thank you so much. Guys, always a challenge in the NBA. Back to you at the table. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. And standing by for the postgame show, let's head over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, Chris Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. The 2K Sports Postgame Show. Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present to you our Jordan player of the game, Freak. He had an outstanding fourth quarter where he really shined, pouring it on heavy down the stretch. A tremendous night of shooting the basketball for him tonight. He was nearly 60% from the field. Ernie, 60. That's Shaq-like numbers. Okay, that's Kenny Smith-like numbers. <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy was outstanding. I love the way he shot it all over the place. When Freak puts it all together, it's no contest to who the best player on the court is. He was outstanding tonight. His feel and understanding of the game were on display. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me and, and Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video and be sure to check out my two videos on screen or click my name down below to browse my channel for past videos. Well, thanks for watching I hope to see you guys on my next video.